Well, parenting is never easy, especially if you've got a young kid just on the cusp of becoming a teenager. There's a new book with some much needed advice, tips on what parents could expect and how to support your child through their growth and development. It's called, called 12 Year Old Ready Expert Advice for Parents to Navigate the Year Ahead. And learning specialist Dr. Rebecca Mann has contributed a chapter of the book and she joins us live now. Good morning. Good morning. So, you know, it's funny because my, I have an eight-year-old, is my oldest son, um, and he's kind of already kind of approaching that, you know, I want to be on social media, I want to have my own email address, I want to have my own uh, ability to message my friends, and I'm really unprepared for a lot of that because I wasn't expecting it this early on. So what kind of advice are you giving to parents in terms of um, the ways that they can create relationships and friendships without necessarily the dangers that are involved sometimes in social media? So your eight-year-old is just on the cusp of what we call middle childhood, and you've got a good four or five years there until he's hitting his teens. The good news is that he's at the age when he's starting to really understand cause and effect, and he's mastered some basic skills at school. So he probably has some sense of real confidence. The trick is for us to use the years before the teens to help kids develop systems for self-control Control, taking charge, but doing so against the backdrop of their parents' rules. Talk about what the kids' brains are like at 12. We always, I think Dr. Phil said, your, your brain's not fully developed till you're 25. I don't know if that's true. What is your brain like at 12? Can you make good decisions? Can, do, you, do you have good judgment? Dr. Phil knew what he was talking about. In the field of neuropsychology, which is the vantage point I've been in for over three decades, we now understand quite a bit about what's happening in those years. I would say that there are four main things going on. Prior to about age 12, the gray matter or basic cells of each neuron really are starting to proliferate, sort of like a big a big bush, almost like privet. The trick is that in the adolescent years, three main things are happening. First of all, rather than just having this gray matter, white matter, which is what sends the message between cells more quickly, is starting to grow at an enormous pace into the 20s. Along with that, what happens is a pruning, sort of like certain tracts of cells getting stronger so that those signals go faster and there's even more mastery. Because of that, there's more coordination between the brain areas that help our kids be more responsible and be able to take charge of themselves. That's what we call executive functions. Having said that, there's another thing which we now know, especially the National Institutes of Health has shared more light in the past year. What we also know is that as the teens start, the reward centers for the brain start becoming much stronger. And in fact, there's lots more dopamine or the neurotransmitter that sends a sense of uh, satisfaction around taking risks. So that means that we can use the later childhood years until the teens to help kids develop systems so that when they hit their teens, they have that much more of a sense of how to take charge in a responsible way. So you're talking about developing systems, like, you know, when your, your child's a baby, you know to read to them every night, you know to, you know, go over letters when they're toddlers and go over numbers when they're toddlers. So what are some practical things that a parent can do to try to create those systems to get them prepared for the t those teenage years? The first thing is that as you've been soothing your baby or helping your child learn how to read, you've also really gotten to know your kids. And caring kids for kids these days involves what I call the new TLC. It's not just tender, loving care. So T means that when you're thinking about your child, you know if your child's T or temperament is such that he needs a little more time or else he's going to get irritable, if he's a little slower to warm up. The the L is that you know how your child learns well. Is your kid the sort of person that as he's taking charge, you need to write something down because he can refer to it? Or if you just say it, will it stick in his memory? And then C for TLC is that you know the context and the culture of your school and your family. So is your approach a more no-nonsense, guys, here's our routine approach that you can bring to taking charge in adolescence? or are you a little more laissez-faire and your kid knows how to really develop uh, that way? 
Well, it's very interesting. For more, you can check out ivyprep.com, and you can follow Ivy Prep Learning on Instagram. Thanks for being with us. Thank you.